going to show you how to look expensive without trying. Wear a monochromatic outfit. This can be anything you want, but I like cream or ivory. Add some nude heels, a statement bag, and some gold jewelry. Gold plated is way more affordable, and I add a silk scrunchie to match. Follow for more. Customize your necklace any way you want. Get personalized jewelry with your name or absolutely any word. Why Sun Necklace? Well, ask our 30,000 customers. Really Wear this one literally every single day. Yeah. We include an exquisite jewelry box with every order for free. You can choose between three colorways and all of our necklaces are waterproof, which means no more green skin. Shop now with 55% off plus free shipping. Link in the description. Sun Necklace. Personalized for you. What's up on the time and I heard that that was ugly. Came from a bitch who nigga wanna fuck on me. Drop the bass, main the bass, get lower. Radio say speed it up, I just go slower. High like travel, puffin' on the mirrors. The man ain't ever seen the booty like this. Why you think you keep my name rolling off the tongue? Cause when you wanna smash, I just write another one. I sneezed on the beat and the beat got sick up. Young say all on his mouth like. tips for my girls out there with small chests first it's important that you have a good fitting bra you do not want any gaps target and pepper have amazing options next keep your back straight embrace what you have and be proud stay away from tops with extra boob space this is not cute and very unflattering instead go for a square neckline or v necklines and layer some necklaces when it comes to bikini tops stay away from tops with extra boob space Instead, go for a bandeau top, a tank top, or a triangle top with thicker straps. Follow me for more tips. I'm going to show you how to give off rich vibes. Avoid flashy logos and stick to basics. Swap out floral perfumes for more musky ones. Avoid patterns, but stick to classics like stripes. Accessorize with statement bags and gold jewelry. I'll look for more. How to glow up your style. I'm going to let you in on a huge secret. Some of the most fashionable people in the world have uniforms. The easiest way to get dressed in the morning and make sure you look chic is to have a uniform. This is a great example because you could recreate this uniform a thousand different ways. Hailey Bieber does this and so did Princess Di. And if it's good enough for Hailey and Princess Di, it's good enough for me. This is very similar to one of my favorite uniforms. You can't go wrong with a neutral top, flannel, and jeans. Like for the next part. I don't want to die, but I don't want to live like this I just want to feel something, I just want to feel I just want to feel something, I just want to feel Something really Here are three reasons why you probably don't have anything to wear. Number one, you probably don't have enough basics in your closet that you can dress up or down. Number two, you probably spent way too much money on trendy pieces that are just not in style anymore. Number three, I'm guilty of this one. Your closet is probably a mess and not organized and probably cluttered and you can't find pieces that you're looking for. We'll have solutions for you in part two. Fashion tips all models use. Never wear white on top of black. Try blue denim with a brown belt instead. With black bottoms, try a gray top and a darker brown belt. You never want to match your bag to your outfit. You want to match it to your belt. You'll look much more put together. Lastly, having your bra straps out immediately cheapens your look. Try one of these. It sticks onto your skin and gives you a completely seamless look. a closet cleanup. Everything a 53 year old should not have in their closet anymore. And it went like Those were the days my friend we thought they'd never end. We'd sing and dance forever and a day. We'd live the life we choose. We'd fight and never lose. Those were the days. Oh yes, those were the days.
I'm so late, you have no idea. Firstly, sheer blouse. These B6 nipple covers, if you don't need a bra, ladies, are the best ever. I get them at Nordstrom. This shirt was too big, but I had to have it. Trick, you button it, just like a couple of buttons. Okay, it's tucked in in the back, but in the front, I've left the shirt tails out. Poor K, you ask. Watch, crisscross applesauce. See how there's this like interesting little crisscross in the front? It defines the waist even more. Why have I added this sandal? I'll tell you why, because it's fantastic. But also because I wanted to do the vintage navy bag. It makes a simple shirt and a simple jean skirt that I buy over and over and over again, by the way. Why do we always buy the same things? For me, it's jean skirts, drop crotch denim, and anything army. Okay, I'm loving this. We need some baubles. I kind of like the idea of some blue beads. Yeah, the gold is better. But look, vintage Kenneth J. Lane bracelets. I mean, feeling this with fun colors and very 70s chic. Yes? Okay, good. Gotta go! Olive and I are gonna give you full disclosure here. Sometimes when I don't wanna pay designer prices and I like something, I kind of have it made. Hence the story of this dress. I loved it, except it was really expensive for what it is. I mean, it's a basic little summer dress, right? And I had this amazing fabric that I brought back from India. I had it made. Thank you, Anna. There wasn't enough fabric. The designer dress was really flowy and gorgeous and juicy. And it had pockets, which this one doesn't. And that pisses me off because I like my pockets. But it is what it is. The color's fantastic. Let's make it better. So it's a very trendy thing right now to do a dress over pants. They're low, pajama style. It lengthens the whole thing. When in doubt, orange accessories. So now I'm color blocking, purposefully staying in all these warm tones, but I think it would be nice to have some waist definition. Let's go up. We have a few options. We might as well bring them down. Large beads in the same coloration. I might want to go a little more polished. Here's some good fabric belt. And look here, an orange satin. And look, this sort of orangey peach butterfly. It might work. Here are the beads. You see the length and the fullness of the dress? The beads going right down across it. It balances all the emptiness here. That's an option. Okay, I'm loving the belt. I love the waist definition. This has gotta go, it's competing. I had to pull the hair back. Too much, it looked like a Christmas tree. Beautiful chandelier earrings, look amazing with it. Love this bag, it mimics the length of what's going on underneath my waist. And yeah, I'm very happy with this look. I could easily do a nice dinner with it and during the day wear it to Tom Thumb.